Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video, I am finally going to be sharing with you guys my huge office makeover, which has been a challenge, seriously, but I'm really excited to show you guys what I've done. This is my first big project and honestly, I'm just very, very proud of it to be quite honest, even though it didn't turn out perfect, but like, I did that myself with a little bit of help of my husband, but I did that myself. And if you are a current subscriber of mine, then you know that I did take a little bit of a break from YouTube unannounced and I'm so sorry for that, but I am back and I'm better and I'm so excited to be able to put out videos. And I just had this little, basically like a mental break. I've been so happy, literally happier than ever. And I think I'm just back with a really refreshed mind and I'm so excited to be able to put out new ideas for you guys. If you guys do wanna keep up to date with like my day to day life, Life. Um, if I don't post on YouTube, definitely check me out on Instagram because that is where I'm posting daily updates and tons of reels. So anyways, if you guys do want to see reels and transformations and like all that stuff, definitely follow me on there. But anyways, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And let's go on over to the office. Welcome to the new and improved office. walk you guys through how this all came to life. It's still not 100% done. I'm still missing a couple things, but those are like big expensive things. And I'm still trying to figure out whether I want to hire someone to do it for me or if I just want to figure it out myself. But anyways, this room has gone through so many stages. It's been crazy. So when we moved here two years ago, this was basically an office, but it was it wasn't cute, okay? It was an office, but it wasn't cute. And it was just kind of like something just we made it work because it was just a, such a big house to furnish. I was like, okay, like this room has so much more potential. So then I was like, okay, well, we have people come over sometime, so maybe we could turn it into a guest bedroom. So we did that and it was a guest bedroom for a while, um, but we don't really have that many guests. We have them occasionally, but not to the point where like we have people sleeping over all the time. It just doesn't really happen. The idea was there and I was like, okay, like it'd be nice, but it's just like, it doesn't make sense to, to waste a huge room for someone just staying here maybe once a year, you get me? Like it was just such a waste of space for me. So I was like, okay, how do we make this work to where it looks good, but it's not a guest bedroom. Like it's easy to decorate, you know, a bed and put like a picture, like that's easy to do in a rug, but I wanted, I wanted to make it difficult for myself. So I was like, okay, so, I could do an office and then I started scrolling to Pinterest and I just kept going back to this one picture. And this is from a design that Shay McGee did and I was just obsessed with it. And I'm like, oh, like how I wish I had that. Like that's just so beautiful and, and I would give up my soul for it. <laughs> so I was like, how do we get this done? Like, how do I do this? So I started scrolling through Facebook Marketplace. That's like my first place to go to when I buy furniture. I don't like buying things brand new unless like I just can't find it anywhere else. Um, so I was scrolling through there and then out of nowhere, I like manifested it. This lady was selling this huge built-in for $70. She like just moved into this house and um, she wanted to rip it out and she wanted to sell it because she just didn't want it. We drove an hour and a half to go get this thing because it was $70 and I was like, it's so worth it. It's already pre-built. Like literally the bones is there. I just have to finish it up. I need to do the rest of the framing. Um, and it worked. <laughs> it freaking worked. All right, here is progress so far. So we had a little bit of delays because um, we ended up getting sick and you might hear my voice being a little raspy. The L that was supposed to go up there did not work out. Um, so instead what I did was just create these pieces of wood all the way across uh, to attach it to, just because I think it's easier um, than trying to mount a big piece of two by four like build up there. And it was really heavy and it just wasn't holding for some reason. I guess there's no studs up there. Honestly, I don't know. But those are mounted to studs on the wall, on the ceiling. So it works either way. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing here. Obviously, this is not how you would do things. It probably would have been better to just make a box all the way across, like in the front. 
um, and then just do like a piece of wood down there to attach to this guy that's under. But um, I just kind of, you know, this is my first project. I, I learn as I go. So definitely for my next project, I'll know how to do things. But yeah, so anyways, this is the office. We're gonna start with the paint color because I do get a lot of questions on what the color is. So the color is Foothills by HGTV Sherwin-Williams. You can find that at Lowe's. It is a beautiful color. And I get tons and tons of questions on like, what color is it really? Like, what is it? Some people think it looks green. Some people think it looks brown. So I will be 100% honest with you guys. It is the perfect mix of both. And if you do go buy a sample, I 100% recommend that you test it wherever you want to paint because depending on the lighting, it will look different. So this color for me in this room looks brown. On camera, it might look green, but I think it's just like it has a green undertone. So it's like a very, very, it's not even olive. It's such a weird, it looks like mud, like when like wet mud. That is the color. It's like it has like a green tint to it, but it's not green, you know? It's more brown, but it still looks green. It's really hard to explain. You just really need to buy like the actual like sample. And then you have to do two coats. I did notice, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy Sherwin Williams again, to be quite honest. I don't like their paint. Um, it is too watery and I had to do three coats almost for some areas because of how watery it was. And I honestly, I'm a bear fan. I love Home Depot paint. I think that's my go-to for always. Um, if I do ever find a replica of this at Home Depot, I definitely will let you guys know, but yeah. But it's a beautiful color, so beautiful. And like I said, it's more brown for me. Definitely more brown than green. So that's the paint color. And then I had so many of you guys help me with this project and I'm so happy that you guys did. You guys are amazing. Honestly, teamwork makes a dream work. Some of you guys were like, you should paint the baseboards. And I did because you guys suggested it. So the baseboards are painted and it looks amazing. And I wouldn't have done that. Honestly, I would have left the, the baseboard white. But then a lot of you guys were like, you need to paint the baseboard. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. So I did it and it looks amazing. It looks great all of it. There's no white in here, only the window trim up here. So yeah, thank you guys for that suggestion. All right, so here is the overview of the entire office and I'm just obsessed with it, you guys. It's like, I have no words. Um, so another one, so another thing that I also wanted to share is the lampshade. So the lampshade is from Ikea. And I will also link that for you guys as well. I'm not entirely sure if the one they have online is this size because they do have two sizes. So I'll try and measure it and just confirm. But um, I definitely recommend going in store to Ikea to, to find it just, just to make sure because I'm, I like I said, I, I'm not entirely sure if the one online is this one because it doesn't seem like they have two listings. They only have one and they have two sizes of this one. So I'm not sure if it is. And then moving on to styling. So it's not completely done. Um, it is still in the works. I'm still trying to figure out how to decorate everything, but it's kind of getting there. So like these three shelves right here, I'm very happy with. Probably this one as well. So basically a lot of these things are just things that I've collected throughout the year. So like this basket, it's a seagrass basket from the Studio Me collection. Um, their spring collection of last year, I believe. I don't think they brought it back. Um, but you can find them like being sold on like Mercari or like eBay. So definitely look on those websites um, to see if you can find it if you're looking for that exact thing. And then um, this little checkered tray I found at a thrift store. And then right next to it or right above it, I have this garland that was also from the Studio McGee Spring Collection from last year. And then this vase is brand new. This one is from Hobby Lobby. They just released this one. Definitely recommend going to get it. And it is so pretty, so beautiful. I might eventually DIY some little handles on it just to make it look a little bit more aged. But this one is $29.99 and you can get it for $15 with their 50% off. So yeah, that's that one. I am obsessed with it. And then right above it, I just have two books. This little like broom thingy also from Studio McGee. This one was also from their spring collection last year. And yeah, so like I said, a lot of these things are just collections. So this one right here is my most prized possession. This is from Oaxaca, Mexico, which is where my mom is from. And it's just very, very special to me. And I had it initially on my desk, 
but I actually put it up here instead because I would be so sad if my kids broke it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna put it up here instead. It's, I love Oaxaca. I hope to one day live there. And um, yeah, so that's just like very, very special to me. That's why I have it there. Then this one, I'm hoping to add some sort of like vintage art from Etsy. I'm still trying to figure out which ones I wanna do. And then up there, this vase right here is from Joann's. Very beautiful. Also recommend going to get that one. It is so, 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 so pretty. Looks just like that. And then I just have some random books right there. And then also I know some of you guys might, might ask if I'm going to cover up the little holes. I'm not going to just yet. I'm actually going to shift down the shelves one down um, because I initially set it up like this because I thought that this one was going to hit the little switch here but it didn't so i need to bring it down one that way these two are also even these are actually one size smaller than these and i want to make it look even you can kind of tell on that side how they're smaller than these so they're all going to come down one and then once that's done then i'm going to cover them all up so yeah but it's a pain in the ass so <laughs> i've been lagging on it and then moving on to here so uh, this Picture frame is from the Hearth and Hand collection that they have right now. This is the Prairie print. So beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I do wish it was a little bigger. I think eventually I'm going to go bigger with the frame. Right now I just have it there because like, I don't want to make another hole. Ideally you'd want it to be a little bit lower. But I'm hoping to switch it for something that looks almost the exact same, just bigger. I just need to find something. The picture light is from Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. It has a remote and it also has a little tap button that you could just tap to turn it off and on. And it also dims more if you want it to or make it brighter. So, yep. And it's rechargeable, which is great. And that's what that looks like. And over on this side, you just can tell I have not styled it. This side is more styled than over here. But um, I just have... I need to make like a vase collection. I have so many. But I just have this these two vases that I just don't know where to put right now and just a bunch of random decor that I just need to figure out where to place it. So that's kind of where we're at. Just gonna ignore that shelf, but that's that's the shelf. And then over here, hidden on this side, I just have this cute little like rattan trash can from Home Goods. And as you guys can tell, I also brought up a light switch in front of the, um, the shiplap over here. So that was also done. I did the exact same thing as a bookcase. And yeah, and then I just have my little essential oil hidden back here. And then for the rug, this one is also from Target. I believe it's $100 as well. Beautiful rug. I'm obsessed with it. But yeah, and then moving on to this side. So I didn't want to show this, but might as well. So this bench, I, I bought it and then I'm like, okay, I actually kind of don't like it. So I sold it already. Someone's going to pick it up on Tuesday. But I am hoping to do like either a couch here or two chairs, I think that'd be nice. And then do some really pretty, like, you know, throw pillow styling with a blanket. I just want something a little bit more cozy. And I just don't think this is matching that coziness in this room. So I'm just gonna find something else to replace it with. I do love it. And I just couldn't find somewhere else to place it for the time being. So I sold it. It's really pretty though. And then as you guys can tell, this is the frame molding that I did. And as you can tell, this box right here matches the opening to this. And then over behind this door, I have this here. So this basket I just hung here because I just had nowhere else to place it. But um, this hook also, I saw so many bad reviews for it and honestly, I totally get it. Like, this just doesn't make sense. Like, it should not be moving like this. It's from also the Hearth and Hand collection. It's cute, but it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. They should have had some sort of different they should have added like a different way to drill it in so that it actually stays flush against the wall and doesn't like move around. But um, this is also from the Hearth and Hand collection. It's this beautiful little like linen cork board type of thing, um, like pin it board. And I just have like pictures, just a vision board of what I'm hoping to accomplish this year. And then for these doors, um, let me move back just a little bit. So these doors I'm actually going to be removing. And what I was trying to say, what I was saying earlier is I'm trying to change these to just um, clear doors. So like glass doors. That way you can actually see in, it makes the room feel a lot bigger. And if you have like a meeting or something, like you can close it so that the sound doesn't come through, but you can still see out, if that makes sense. Because if we close this, it is so, it just like, it just closes you off. 
you know? So I think glass doors here is gonna look beautiful. And also if the door is even like open, you can still see through to the shelving. So that's my goal for this. I This is where I was like, maybe I can just find some like someone selling them on Facebook Marketplace that are the same size and I can just install it myself. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna hire someone at some point to just come and remove the framing and just do new doors for us. I think that'd be great. So yeah. So anyways, that is the office, you guys. And I'm just so happy with the way it turned out. And I feel like I keep saying that, but seriously, this is my favorite room in this entire house at the moment. Eventually it will probably be something else once I start doing more projects, but definitely let me know how you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.